Let me click on Office for free, install for free, and here's my Office suit ready to be used. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the two best methods, one which is super easy as you don't require any installation and the other one using it locally on your computer. Here's how you can use MS Word, Excel, PowerPoint and other office apps for free. Now these are not any sketchy ways as it's actually officially free. So let's begin. For the first method, we'll just head over to our browser and search in for office.com. Let me click on office.com and once you're here, you simply have to click on sign in. Now I already have a Microsoft account, so I'll go ahead and login into my account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, then you can simply go ahead and create one over here. Let me sign into my Microsoft account. Now, as you can see, we have access to the entire MS Office right over here on this column on the left. We have MS Word, Excel, OneDrive, Teams, OneNote and other apps as well. I mean, you can just simply click on any app, let's say Excel. And over here, your recent files would appear over here. You can click on new to create a new workbook. And once the workbook is created, you can just simply use it. You can fill in the details anywhere. You can fill in details over here as well. You can also create new sheets over here. So as you can see, I created a new sheet over here. You can insert other things. You can insert a table if needed. Let me resize the table over here. And now I created a table as well. You can add pictures, you can draw, you can use the powerful formulas of Excel. So this is how I'm using MS Excel on my browser itself for free. Let me go back and look at other apps as well. Let's say we have OneDrive over here. You can save your files over there. You can share your files among your family and your friends. You can use Teams and share your screen and present it among your other coworkers as well. You can use OneNote to take track of quick notes as well. I mean, yeah, it was just that easy. Just log into office.com with your Microsoft account and you have access to entire MS Office collection for free. You can also click on create over here and you get access to any sort of document, presentation, workbook, forms, quizzes, etc. There are also a bunch of templates available over here for PowerPoint presentations, for Excel sheets, for some other stuff as well, whatever might be useful to you. Now using this is also really helpful cause you get other features of MS Office as well, like saving the files on the cloud onto OneDrive, sharing the files through OneDrive and collaborating in real time and the other features among with the possibilities are also really endless. But even though let's say if you wish to buy MS Office, then you can simply click over here buy Microsoft 365 and over here you get access to the personal plan and also the family plan. The personal plan would go up to one terabyte of OneDrive cloud storage costing you $699 a month and the family plan would cost you $999 a month for five people and six terabytes bytes of OneDrive cloud storage. It also ends up offering other additional features and also other apps like Publisher and MS Access. So yeah, this is a great way to use MS Office on your browser itself without the need of going through and installing and all that long process. Let's head over to our next method in which I'll show you on how you can install MS Office and also use it locally on your computer. Let's head over to Microsoft.com. Now I'll just go ahead and search in for Office. Let me simply scroll over to Departments and click on Apps and I'll scroll down and as you can see, we have Office over here, which is a free version. I'll click on it. And once it's loaded, there's an option, get in store app, that too for free. Let me click on it. The Microsoft store opens up and now I'll just simply click on get. And as you can see, it's installing Microsoft Office right now. And once the installation is completed, we can click on open and we're here. Let me click on sign in. I'll just simply sign into my existing Microsoft account. Let me simply skip this one. And once we have signed in, we have MS Office on our computer so that we can use it locally. These are the recent files over here and the layout is pretty much just the same. I have access to other apps over here, MS Word, Excel, PowerPoint and here's how you can go ahead and click on create. Let me quickly create a Word document over here. My Microsoft Word is being opened right now. So yeah, you can just use it like a normal MS Word over here. I'll just fill in something. Let's say Hi, welcome to Itch Store. So it's just the same as it was in the browser, but just the difference is that we are using it locally on our computer over here. And in the same way to MS Word, we have all the other features over here as well. We can insert tables, pictures, drawings, etc. Let me go back and it's the very same. We have the recent files over here. We can collaborate in real time. We also have the Office mobile apps. I'll definitely be covering that in another separate video for sure. You can share your files by uploading 
downloading them via OneDrive and share them among your friends, your family, your co-workers. So yeah, that was about the second method that you can use to get access to MS Office completely free on your computer itself by installing it from the Microsoft App Store. And in the very same way, you can go ahead and also buy Microsoft Office over here. The same plan for Microsoft Office personal and family with the same pricing and other features that I mentioned earlier. I mean, it's clearly your choice whether or not you wish to buy it or you can just simply use it for free by using these two methods that I just showed you. So apart from these free versions and these two methods that I just showed you, there are also other good alternatives for using MS Office. So let's head over to that. So the first and most popular one next to MS Office is WPS Office. And there's also a chance that you might have heard about this one as well. Let me simply go ahead and click on free download over here. And once it's downloaded, I'll just simply click on install now to install it. Now once done installing, let's click on get started. And so this is how the WPS office looks like. Let me simply go ahead and click on new. And it's a pretty simple interface. As you can see, there's document. You can create documents over here, which is similar to MS Word. You can use spreadsheets, which is similar to MS Excel. And there is also presentation, which is similar to PowerPoint. And there are also tons and tons of templates over here. The same as MS Word, same as MS Excel and other PowerPoint stuff as well. I mean, all of these sections have a lot of of templates over here ready to be edited and also to be put into use so yeah the standard and the personal plan of the WPS office is completely free ready to be downloaded and to be put into use but you can also opt for the WPS premium and also WPS business depending upon your need it starts at $18.99 for six months and also at $29.99 for a year so yeah that's about the WPS office now let's head over to our next best alternative which is LibreOffice so this is how the LibreOffice website looks like let me simply go ahead and click on download. Now LibreOffice is also available on other operating systems as well. So you can simply go ahead and choose your desired one. I'm on Windows, so I'll be choosing Windows and clicking on download. Now once it's downloaded, I'll simply install it. Now once the installation is complete, I'll click on finish to open it. So now we are at LibreOffice and this is how it looks like. I mean, this is also a really simple interface compared to MS Office. You can open any sort of files, you can access remote files and there's this writer document, which is essentially MS Word. There's Calc spreadsheet, which is essentially MS Excel and PowerPoint presentation, base database, etc. You can simply click on templates to access all the other templates as well. And you can also drop any sort of document over here to open it or also create a new one. Let me just quickly open writer document. And I mean, I honestly cannot distinguish the difference between writer document of LibreOffice and MS Word of MS Office. It honestly feels the same to me. Let me just go ahead and type in something. Let's say, hi, I am Ichthor. In the very same way as MS Word, there are these other options as well. You can view, you can insert a text box, you can insert comments, you can insert images, media and other stuff. There's also text formatting in the very same way. So yeah, I mean, there are tons and tons of features in this one as well. I can simply go ahead and click on file and save this one. Let me save it by the name of its store. Once I come back to the home page, you can see this is the document that I just saved over here. So yeah, I mean, LibreOffice is also a really good alternative to also consider. There's all sorts of features in this one as well as compared to MS Office. So that's about it for this video. Do choose the methods which are convenient for you and I'll see you guys in the next one.